If you want to create video content, but you don't want to be in front of the camera, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI avatars to create ultra realistic videos that will keep your audience hooked. And the best part, it's 100% automated so you can create daily content for any niche without even lifting a finger. So whether you want to create an indistinguishable AI clone of yourself or choose from hundreds of professionally crafted avatars, I've got you covered. I'll walk you through this process step by step and I promise it's so simple that literally anyone can do this with no special techie skills required. I'm also giving you my complete template for free so by the end of this video you'll have absolutely everything you need to create highly engaging videos on autopilot. So to do this we'll be using Make which is a visual builder that makes creating automations really easy. So just click the link down below and you can create a free account. It takes a few seconds you can sign in with Google and you'll get one month free on the pro plan for using my link. So once you're in Make just go to create new scenario and then you're going to want to download my blueprint down below. It's completely free. So just click the link and download that free blueprint. And that's going to make this so much easier for you. So just choose the blueprint, click the three dots like I showed you, import your blueprint, hit save, and my entire build shows up for you. And don't worry, I'm going to walk you through each of these modules step by step. It's really, really easy. So let me explain how this works, first of all. So the first thing we're doing is we're using ChatGPT and ChatGPT is going to write our content for us. If you didn't know, ChatGPT basically knows all of human knowledge. It's read literally the entire internet. So what this means is you can just ask ChatGPT to create content for you for basically any subject. You just give it the subject and you give it your audience and it's going to write a script for you. That is what we're going to use then to create our AI avatar video. And then when that video is ready, we'll write a caption for that video and then we'll post it to any platform that you'd like. I have Instagram in this example. And at the end of the video, I'm actually going to show you a way where you can post it to all platforms super easily if you want. So that's kind of high level how it works. Now, let me walk you through each step, step by step. So the first thing you want to do is click on ChatGPT here and go to add. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for an API key and a organization ID. Simply, all you need to do is go to platform.openai.com, sign in with your Google account or make an account it takes like 10 seconds. Then what you're going to want to do is copy down your organization ID in a notepad and then you're going to go to API keys and you're going to create a new secret key. And then you're going to go over to billing and you're going to add some credits. You only need like $5 or $10. It's going to last you forever. So once you've done that and you've gotten your API key, you've added some credits to your account, then we're going to go back to ChatGPT, simply go to add and then add your API key and organization ID. And then once that's done, it's going to now let you make a prompt. You don't need to change this or this. I've set it for you. And all you need to do now is change this prompt. So I'm giving you an example here. Let's say we are a nutrition coach or a fitness expert, something of this nature. So I've made a example prompt for us. You are a social media video expert. You are also a fitness and nutrition expert that specializes in getting people to 15% body fat or using intermittent fasting. Make a script for a 30 to 50 second video with the fitness diet or workout tip that will help people get to their ideal body. So I'm setting it here. We want to make a short vertical video here as opposed to a horizontal longer video. And because we're using AI content, I suggest you keep it short. It's just better that way. Um, people just don't pick up on the fact that it's an AI video. But if it's like a 30 minute video, people will figure it out. So this is basically describing what your content is, what your goal is. So if you were a dentist, for example, you could make this about, you know, hygiene tips. If you were a roofing specialist, you can talk about or, you know, construction specialist or like some sort of uh, renovation company. You could talk about tips for renovations and so on and so forth. Any topic you can create. ChatGPT already knows more about this topic than you do. It basically has all of human uh, knowledge in it. So you can just tell it what to write and it'll create that content. So so you can see it's making a script and then we're giving it additional context like the video will be a generated by an AI avatar it'll be a talking head video the video uh, with a person on screen so it's just telling it that there won't be any visuals there won't be any additional things like you won't be holding any objects or showing anything else so it knows what the constraints are so you don't have to modify all of those extra parameters I have in there you just have to change the audience and what the goal of the video is so once you've done that you just hit save next we are going to use HeyGen 
which is my favorite AI avatar solution to create an avatar. So just click the link in the description below and you can create a free account. It takes a few seconds. Again, you can sign in with your Google or Apple ID if you want. And once you've signed in, click on your name here, go to space settings, go to API, and then you can create and copy your API key. You actually get 10 free credits on this, so you can try this for free as I'm showing you here. Now, the next step is to choose our avatar and you have two options here. So first you can clone yourself, just hit create avatar and it's going to give you this option for the first time. And you can see I already had some avatars. And so what it's gonna ask you to do is simply upload some footage and if you just upload something that's between two and five minutes, then it's gonna use that footage and create an avatar. I have a full video down below if you want more instructions on how to use that and create your own avatar and some tips. So check out that video. But basically you just upload a video of yourself and you wanna record it vertically with your smartphone if we're gonna be making vertical content as opposed to horizontal content. So that's my one tip for you here. And make sure the audio sounds decent as well and the lighting is good some common sense stuff and you can see some more tips here. So that's kind of the process to create an avatar and it'll create an avatar for you. You can see I've made a vertical avatar here. It takes like 15 minutes after recording it. So you just upload your video, you record a consent to prove that you are who you are. It takes like, you know, 20 seconds and your avatar will be ready within 15, 20 minutes of processing. So that's option one and you can use yourself as an avatar as I promised. Now, if you don't want to use yourself, then you can actually use hundreds of avatars to select from, but make sure you go to orientation and square and have it set on avatar looks view. So that's the default there. And then once you get that, then you can find someone who makes sense. In our situation, we are doing fitness content in this example. So we want to find somebody that makes sense for this niche. So you can see all the avatars loading in and we can even, if we want, just type something like fitness. And so perfect, like she looks like obviously a fitness person who would make fitness content. So let's just keep that name in Vine, Violante Sport Front 2, cool. So now we know the API and we know what we want. And I'll show you one more thing. If you click on her, Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. You can actually mix the person and a different voice, for example. Let's say, so we know Violante, and let's just say we wanted instead um, someone else's voice. Let's just pick someone like Shirley. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Right, so Shirley, for example, let's say we wanted her voice. So you can use Vellante's voice. It doesn't really matter, but keep those names in mind. That's all you have to do. Then head back into HeyGen, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to Type Avatar. You're going to choose the person. And so in my example and in yours, it'll be preset to this. Violante Sport Front 2. That's the one we wanted. And then set your avatar scale to 2. This is because this is a square, and it doubling the square makes it a portrait can keep all of this the same, keep it all blank. Then you keep voice type to text and then you wanna choose a voice. So as an example, I've gone and listened to Amy here or if we, like I said, if we wanted to do Shirley, you can listen to whoever you'd like, but I'm gonna go with Amy Outdoor here. And for your input, you're gonna now select the script that was written right here. Now, the next part is we need to give it a background. So as you've seen with these AI avatars, some of them have backgrounds already. And so you could have used one with a background if you wanted to, and that's helpful. But if you wanted to give it your own background, and this is what I'm going to show you here, and often the square ones don't actually have a background. So you actually have to add a background, but don't worry, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to something like Canva or any video editor or photo editor, doesn't even matter. Canva is super easy. You just go to create design, go to custom size, and then just make a vertical frame. And then all we're going to do here is find a photo. So for example, you could do a video background like this. So I just grabbed it from Canva and then you just go share, download. 
Or if we didn't want this one, we could have done a photo instead too, a still photo. Basically, we're just making a little background. It takes like a few seconds to make like I showed you. Then just go to download. And in a few seconds, you have this background. And again, Canva has so many examples to choose from. You could go in here. We could have done a beach. We can do this park. We can do like if you want just like a photo instead. If you didn't want that, let's say you just wanted the gym or something. You could do that or like anything really. There's just so much options here you can do. And then once you have your assets downloaded, just go to your Google Drive. It's free. It's in your Gmail and then upload the files into Google Drive. So in this example, I'm sharing a beach shot or maybe I want to do this bench shot. So give it a few seconds and it will upload. So we got this bench we made, like this background with the bench and the gym, which makes sense for a video. Or we might want to do something cool with a beach. Let's actually do the beach example. And again, this part is a bit optional because you could have used a person with a background already, but I'm just showing you this. It's a little bit more interesting if you want to change it up a bit. So then what we do is we simply go to make.com we go to video background and then it couldn't be easier. All you do is you go here, share, copy link, and we just paste that link in here. Set it to say loop again, because you want to make sure the video is long enough. And then you want to set captions to yes. So you can automatically get captions burnt in. And lastly, if you're on the free plan, you have to keep it at 720 by 1280, but you could actually increase the resolution if you're not on the free plan. So just keep it at that because you're just testing this in the start. Then just hit save. And then you can hit run once to make sure this is working. And I'll do that so I can explain what happens next. So it is writing this script. As you can see, it wrote this great post about this uh, intermittent fasting and dieting. And now it's actually sent that request for the video to be made. So if you go into your HeyGen projects, you will see that it's being made right now. And so what these sleep tools are right here is it's an automatic delay for 15 minutes so that we can wait till the video is done rendering. Now there's more complex ways to do this with checking the status through an API call and this and that and iterators and all this kind of stuff. But in the interest of keeping this simple, it's very simply five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, wait 15 minutes, nothing fancy to it. And what's going to happen next is it's going to go and get that video ID after it's done generating. And then what's going to happen is it's now when that video's gotten the ID from that, basically it's just a task to grab it. You don't have to change anything on your end. Then the next thing we're going to do is actually write a caption for this video. And so because you've already authenticated ChatGPT, you don't need to do anything up here. And again, all you need to do is change this prompt. You're a social media expert. You see here is now selecting the script we wrote, but your audience is people looking to improve your health and fitness level. That's really the only thing you need to change to whoever your audience is. Otherwise, you don't need to change any of it. And then once we've written our caption, we simply need to get Instagram to grab the caption that we made and post it automatically. To add your Instagram account, all you need to do is go add and it's going to ask you to log into Facebook and Instagram. It takes like five seconds and it'll tell you to pick the page you want to publish to. Again, takes a few seconds. Nothing fancy there. Just log in and then make sure this is set on share to feed, which I've already configured for you. So really, there's nothing for you to do here other than log in. And so once that's all done, we can run it and see it in action. And so we can see here it's writing a script and it's about burning fat and you can see dieting. It makes perfect sense. Now it's sent the request to create the video. And if we head over to Ahagen, we can see that it's preparing the video via the API. And so you can see it processing here. And so make is simply going to wait 15 minutes until the video is ready. And so we can see that our video is already ready and there's still time left on make. I've set this as a fail safe for you so that you don't need to worry about it maybe not being ready on time. Usually it takes only about five, six minutes, but I've put 15 minutes here just as a safeguard. But you can see it's usually much faster than that. So let's watch this video. Hey, are you trying to lose fat and finally get to your ideal body? Let me tell you one powerful tip. Stop snacking. 
Every time you snack, you spike your insulin. That's actually pretty cool. She's at the beach. It looks super real. Her voice sounds pretty good. The captions are there. And the information makes sense for our audience. So again, we did this as a fitness example, but you could have done this for any niche that makes sense to you. And now we just need to wait till the timer goes here because we made it super safe by making it 15 minutes. But if you wanted to, you could delete five minutes out of here. I wouldn't keep it under 10 though. You could if you wanted to, but I've had it at 15, but you could delete one if you want. Okay, so the timer is done. We can see that it got our video. We can see it wrote our caption and our post with hashtags here. And it says it posted it to Instagram. Let's take a look. Now it won't make much sense on my channel, but I'm doing it as an example. Fat and finally get to your ideal body. Let me tell you one powerful tip. Stop snacking. Every time you snack, you spike your insulin, and when insulin is up, fat burns. That looks pretty cool. And you see right there, you can see there's the text right here, the caption, the hashtags, everything. And so you could have changed out Instagram for Facebook or anything else or LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you would have liked. But I promised I'd show you how to make posting to all your platforms super easy. So to do that, if you want to take that same content you made and post it to all your platforms, because why not? It's almost effortless. So we're going to use a secondary tool called repurpose.io. So just click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to the sign up page. And actually with my link, you get a 30 day free trial, which is double and you get to publish 30 videos instead of just 10. You can sign up. There's no credit card needed. Just click here and sign up, sign in with your email and you're good to go. And what it's going to do is take our Instagram reels and repost it to any platform we want without watermarks or anything like that. It's super easy to do. Basically just go to connections and then just log in with all your platforms. It takes a second. Just go to add connections pick the one sign in again takes a few seconds so once you've connected all the platforms you want to do then just go to workflows go create new workflow go to Instagram pick your account you want reels this is the profile and we want to send it to say TikTok and so we click it and then we just hit create workflow and in like three clicks now whenever we post to Instagram we just hit enable automation here and whenever we post to Instagram it automatically posts to TikTok and you can see it pulled everything in already and so what you would do is just create that exact same workflow from Instagram to TikTok to YouTube to stories to Pinterest whatever you want I went through it really quickly but I have a full tutorial for repurpose.io so if you're interested in that check that out on the channel but it's really really self-explanatory and you could just basically Basically, whenever now make.com publishes to Instagram, it's going to publish to all your channels. And the final step, by the way, is just to go down here and you can have it post in whatever frequency you want. You could say once every day and you can set the time or you can have it post every eight hours or every one hour or whatever you'd like. So you just set that up and hit save and then your automation is live and good to go. So that's how easy it is to create 100% automated AI avatar guitar videos for any niche. If you found this video useful, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment and consider subscribing for more content just like this. Speaking of 100% automated content, if you want to see another way of creating 100% automated videos with AI generated images and voiceover not using avatars, check out this video right here.